Yahweh Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rechakodash. I want to send double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone, who taught me this truth and who also rule well. Peace, love, and many salutations as always to the hopeful elect, doing this work in sincerity and the truth throughout the four corners of the earth and presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice to do so. <clears throat> so um, I want to get into this uh, response video. All right, there's a there's a video posted earlier today by the elder apostle Tahar, you know, uh, with this this mystery cat, you know, who uh, posed the question, <laughs> asking how can King Masha be King David if he's deceased, you know, and you know immediately when I seen that I was like, man, this is a this is a carnal question, because the scriptures tell us, first and foremost in the book of First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, and it says that the uh, dead in Yahweh Shah shall rise first, okay. And in the last days is when the dead will be raised, man. All right? Those who died in the name of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Matter of fact, I want to get this precept um, that I was looking at earlier today, you know, concerning this topic uh, in the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter, you know. And, and Lord willing, this is an edifying video, man. Okay? Lord willing, this is an edifying video because um, we are to, first and foremost, we are to deal in the spirit, man, not with carnality. Okay? Because it says... Um, in the book of Romans, I believe the 8th chapter, it says for it to be carnally minded is death. Okay? That is not a good, you know, um, what is that in 1 Corinthians? Um, where it says that, um, you know, speaks about the carnal mind. is enmity with the with the Heavenly Father, man. And, and uh, this, um, uh, things are spiritually discerned. Okay? Now, and, and if you understand the scriptures, you know, which... No, no. If you watch when you watch the video, I'll post it in the description box. You know, um, he seems or puts on at least a display of having some knowledge of the scriptures, but jumped right over. You know, the carnal mind is enmity with the Most High. The Most High can raise up who He wants, man. Okay, at any point in time. Okay, the Most High, he, He's the the um. It says in the Book of Hebrews, the Father of Spirits, man. All right, so he can do what he wants. All these, all the spirits belong to the heavenly Father, and I believe it says tells us that in the book of um, Second Ezra, man. All right, so let me get into these these precepts that I have. All right, this is the book of Revelation, chapter fourteen, and verse thirteen. It says, "And I heard a voice from heaven, saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead, which die in the Lord from henceforth." Okay, it says, "Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord, man." All right. You no, know, and uh, um, as as we know, King Masha, not only did he um, wake up a lot of people with the revelation of this twelve tribe sign, but he died in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, to his last living breath, you know, he didn't start worshiping Jesus. All right, no, but he in fact kept the he he kept the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai as pure as he could until it was time for him to go. Okay, so and and you know you you we've had men, um, I, I believe we had a, a brother like recently, I'm gonna say within the last month, you know who uh, who ended up catching COVID, you know and passing away, man, you know and 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 there are brothers that have passed away in this truth, man, and these men are gonna be raised up in the last days, okay, why? Because the scripture says it, right? So it says uh reading on it says yea, said the spirit. That they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them, you know. And uh, you know, concerning, you know, uh, the revelation of the twelve tribes, sign man, a lot of people have woken up from that. Now they understand who they are. Okay, is that not a pinnacle? Does it does does it not play a pinnacle role in the nation of Israel today? Does it not play a pinnacle role concerning prophecy? Okay, that the elect may be sealed. Yeah, and, and no, and um. The guy went into Revelation the seventh chapter, you know, when it when it talks about the um, holding back the four winds and you no, know, of course the elect being sealed from tw uh, all the twelve tribes of Israel in the last days. Well, guess what? The elect is being sealed right now. All right, and, and we can we know this because prophecy is coming to pass. So the the elect is being sealed as as we speak, man. All right, Yahweh Shemayahu Shai is already his his elect is already sealed. 
All right. We're, we're just watching this play out before our eyes. But we understand that we're in the last days and a lot of people are waking up, man. All right. Let me get this in the book of First Thessalonians, the fourth chapter. I believe it's First Thessalonians. The 16th verse. Let's see what they say. Okay, yeah, this is First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 15. It says, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord, all right, being, being the, of the hopeful elect, the men who are, um, you know, the individuals that are uh, upholding the name of Yahweh, Shai, in truth and sincerity, those that are doing according to the will, all right, those that are hasting unto the day. This is who it's talking about, the elect, all right? It says, we, uh, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the, the Lord should not prevent them which are asleep. You know, let's get this word prevent. Okay. Let me get into this word prevent. All right. It says, um, it's the Greek word thano, right? It says to come before, proceed, anticipate, to come, to come to, arrive at, to reach, attain to. All right, so hey, and that's saying what that we understand that these men are going to be coming back, these men are going to be raised up, All right? In the last days, it says we shall not prevent them. Okay, we shall not prevent them who. Uh, let's read this again. We shall not prevent them which are asleep, you know. And we know that you no, know, um, that's just another term. You know how how they quote dead. You know they're they're really just sleep, man. Okay. These these three these are just sleep, man. They they they're back in the in the spirit world, and they're waiting to be raised up, man. They they're waiting to be raised up at the at the the sound of the last trump, okay, which we are we are coming very near unto that, as I mentioned by way of seeing prophecy pass, right. So it says, for the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven, with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High. And the dead and Hamashiach shall rise first. You know, just just land back and go off of that precept in Revelation, the fourteenth chapter, man. Okay, now concerning, all right, concerning the elect being sealed, which is one of the last trumps. Okay, well, we know that one of the another end time prophecy which he addressed in the video was Revelation, the seventh chapter. Okay, Revelation seven and one speaks on the uh, the four winds holding back the wind that it blow not. On the trees, on the earth, or on the sea, okay, which is represented uh, representative of this new nu thermonuclear destruction, which is going to destroy America, man, and leave it as a desert land, right? Now, when you continue to read on in Revelation, the seventh chapter, you know it go it goes down through the twelve tribes of Israel, all right, and how you have twelve thousand from each tribe that are going to be sealed, being the elect, the one hundred and forty-four thousand. OK, which we know that in this day and age, the elect is being sealed. You know, and you no, know, in the video, when you watch it at the beginning of the video, they um, you have King Masha. You know, they're breaking down the 12 tribe of, of Israel sign. OK, and in this day and age, a lot of people have uh, become more aware of who they are. All right. And have, have woken up behind this sign. OK. You no, know, and I'll get that. I'll get that in the book of Ezekiel, the thirty-seven chapter. And you know, once the elect is being, once the elect is sealed, you know, you know, going back until the precepts that I brought out earlier, that the dead and Hamashiach shall rise first. They're gonna rise up, man. Okay. So uh, this is the book of Ezekiel, thirty-seven and sixteen. It says, "Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it, for Judah, and for the children of Israel, his companions." You know, and that's talking about the um, the southern tribes, man. All right. Because Judah is the head of the, the southern tribes, which is Judah, Benjamin and Levi. OK, it says, then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph in the, uh, the stick of Ephraim. You no, know, which Ephraim is representative of the northern tribes. OK, he was the head of the northern tribes. It says, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. All right. So the, the the northern tribes consist of, you know, you have uh, Manasseh, you have, you know, of course, Ephraim, you have um, Issachar, 
Gad, Reuben, uh, Zebulon. Um, there's one that's escaping me. Uh, Zebulon and Asher. Okay. So you you have these tribes. Now reading on, and, and it says, and join them one to another into a uh, slaki, and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. Okay. Hence, this is where we get the 12 tribes sign. And when the children of thy people, being the nation of Israel, the northern northern tribes and the southern tribes, okay, <clears throat> and when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Wilt thou not shew us what thou meanest by these? You know, and a lot of people have um, inquired, you know, this is what it's saying. They inquire, I'm like, man, what is this? Okay, and they go do the research, you know, do the homework, and, you know, and some people have woken up. Okay, in these last days. Showing what? That the elect is being sealed right before our eyes, man. All right. It says, what meanest thou by these? Say unto them, thus said the Lord Yahweh, behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in mine hand, and the sticks were on thy writers shall be in thine hands before their eyes. Okay, so this is a major um that you no know, what what King Masha did was a major uh um uh, played a pinnacle role and plays a pinnacle role in uh prophecy being fulfilled. Okay? So you know, just I just wanted to address that, man. Cause it, it, it's that's so, it's it's very simple to see. All right, it's a very easy thing. Anyway, Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Al Shai is gonna raise the dead up in the last days. All right, which is the point, and it, it, this is plain and simple. Okay, and 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 and, you, and his works do follow him. You know, King Mashal works follow him, man, cause he played a he played a pinnacle role in prophecy being fulfilled. You know, so with that being said. You know, um, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory once again unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akakadash, Babu Gusha, Babu Gusha, Babu Gusha. Forgive me if this wasn't an edifying lesson, but Lord willing, it was. Okay. So, um, you know, uh, peace, love, and salutations out there to the hopeful elect. Shalom.